Christian McCaffrey here, dudes. Leaving the Panthers win over the Texans with a hamstring injury. People on Twitter were very fired up about it. Trust me on that. It was Chuba Hubbard or Chuba Hubbard or Chuba Hubbard and Royce Freeman who filled the role, but not that effectively. So can you break down, please, for us, the fantasy impact of McCaffrey missing time for Carolina, Jeff? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm sure everyone was very complimentary just giving Christian McCaffrey like shout outs and stuff. I'm sure that's all it was on Twitter. But um, as far as what you want to look at here going forward, um, yeah, Hubert looked overwhelmed. I mean, let, let's just be dead honest. I think Carolina was giving him touches because they were playing the Texans and Davis Mills, and they didn't really care at that point. But I think when you're going forward, Royce Freeman is the guy who can step in here. He was in every down back in Oregon uh, when he was in college. He handled a massive workload. He has the capabilities to stand in be a good pass catcher and he's not gonna he's not he's not christian mccaffrey he's not gonna get you like five yards per carry but he'll definitely grind it out he's not gonna make those mistakes that hoover made so i i'd really actually look to royce freeman here going forward if mccaffrey misses a significant amount of time okay what's the fantasy outlook for both of these potential fill-ins steve well first and foremost when the injury occurred i thought mccaffrey was doing a little like swag jump there so I was surprised that that was actually an injury. I thought yeah. he was like just I agree. To be smooth. That was a lot like right. the, the old school, like Fred Taylor. You kind of wait a little hop, and then you yeah. hit the hole, baby. So when he was hurt, I was like, oh, that wasn't on purpose. That was actually unfortunate. And, you know, it's really unfortunate for the Panthers that they don't have Mike Davis anymore. He was an, an absolute monster in that role for the Panthers last year. They don't have that anymore. And if, I, if anything is an indication from what we saw last night, Hubbard – does not catch the ball well. I know it was a very, very small sample, but that really struck a, uh, was, was a big thing for me. I agree with Jeff. I think Freeman's going to be uh, the better option in this backfield. You know, obviously, you can't really judge on that half of game that we saw from both of them, but I was not really overly impressed from what I saw from Hubbard. Uh, wasn't a big pass catcher at Oklahoma State in his three years with them. Uh, so I think Freeman could end up being that guy. Hopefully, it's not anything too uh, extreme for McCaffrey. If it's a grade one strain, he might miss about one to three weeks. Anything worse from that, you're talking about potentially half a season. So really hoping for that grade one strain. Uh, but yeah, the Panthers, uh, without Mike Davis, uh, they look like mm. a very vulnerable team at that position this season. I think, I think Freeman's got a lot of Mike Davis in him. That's not necessarily a compliment, but it, it does kind of tell you where, where the usage is probably going to go. Uh, yeah, dude, break the glass, send up the smoke signals, pop the flares, call in the military, military because we are now at DEFCON 1 uh, with Christian McCaffrey going down.